Hello everyone, the second sitting of the AIME was just held earlier this week. In this video, we will take a look at problem 10 which is my favorite problem from the contest. The problem is very short. It's basically to find the remainder when the following expression is divided by 1000. And the expression is 3 choose 2 choose 2, 4 choose 2 choose 2, added all the way to 40 choose 2 choose 2. So when I first saw this expression, I was like, what? I didn't know that something like this could actually be summed up quite easily. So I actually spent a while trying to devise maybe a combinatorial identity or some sort of story that will help me to collapse this into a simple combinatorial expression. But after a while, I realized that this might not be actually uh, the way to do it. It's not, not very easy to come up with a story uh, in the context of a contest. So I decided to take a look at a, a generic and choose to choose to expression and realize that maybe if I write it out in full polynomial form, I'll be able to sum up uh, the polynomial expression. So we all know that n choose 2 is n times n minus 1 over 2. So n choose 2 choose 2 is the uh, n choose 2 thing multiplied by the n choose 2 thing minus 1 and then divided by 2. So over here, I just uh, exp co combine this into one fraction. So this is uh, n squared minus n then minus 2 again. So I have this. And so what I did is I collect the 2 into the bottom as an 8. And then for n squared minus n minus 2, I realized that it can be factorized. And this uh, factorized as n minus 2 times n plus 1. And now very good because we have actually four consecutive terms here. n plus 1, n, n minus 1, n minus 2. So I rearrange it as such. And then I realized that these four consecutive terms, I can put a 4 factorial below and a 3 here to re -get, uh, regain the 8 here. And then this expression becomes 3 times n plus 1 choose 4. So actually this complicated uh, weird looking thing can become a simple binomial coefficient. So the sum that we want is actually 3 times 4 choose 4 plus 5 choose 4 added all the way to 41 choose 4. And I think some of us might be very familiar with how to use a combinatorial identity to evaluate this. Basically this is 42 choose 5 and for those who are not so familiar, actually you can quickly derive this from a simple story. If you have 42 objects and you are choosing 5, you can consider the case of what is the largest uh, number chosen. So if 42 is the largest number chosen, I have to choose 4 from the remaining 41. That's 41 choose 4. And then if 41 is the largest number chosen, then I have to choose 4 from the remaining 40, which is 40 choose 4. And similarly, so on and so on. So that gives me actually 42 choose 5 equals to this expression here. So now that we have this uh, simple expression, we can basically evaluate it. There's one more very neat trick, which is that if you write this out, uh, 3 times 40 cancels with 120. So we are left with 38, 39, 41, 42. And actually the multiplication is quite simple because 39 times 41 is uh, 40 squared minus 1 square. The a plus b, a minus b uh, equals a square minus b square identity. And then 42 times 38 is actually 40 squared minus 2 square. So actually, we just need to evaluate one product, which is uh, 1599 times 1596. And because we care about mod 1000, uh, this can work out quite quickly to be congruent to for mod 1000. So this is a, a very short video on the problem 10. Next week, I'll be posing, uh, posting a video on how I did problem 15 without actually solving the problem. So stay tuned and see you soon.